talking about for the last three weeks. I know. I can't you know, wait to see him. I hear he's yes, adorable. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hey, you two. What a nifty little guy. Oh, that's very sweet of you, Ernie. No, I mean it. This kid is really something. Thanks, Ern. I guess we kind of think he's going to be okay, too. Okay? Shame on you, Gil. <laughs> Will you look at that thing? <laughs> Loretta, you're making him laugh. He's got a fabulous face. A fine-looking boy. Yes, sir. He's a fine-looking boy. Why, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Hey, you know, I have a sneaking suspicion that there may be a thing or two more about this little rascal than just good looks. Well, we certainly hope so. I mean, who knows? <laughs> he could have quite a future ahead of himself, this little guy. Oh, it's awfully sweet of you to... Uh, to... Uh... Who in the world was that? I have no idea. I thought it was someone you knew. You just got to get out there and play as well as you can, son. I, I will, Dad. I will. And remember, there's a lot more to a game than just winning. No, I know that. I won't forget. You know, it's how you play the game, too. That's just as important. You gotta play fairly and honestly. And you gotta always cooperate with your teammates. Thanks, Dad. I'll do my best. Hang in there, guys! Way to go! Way to go! Boy, Rob. Hey, what about these little guys? Are they all right or what? Oh, yes, yes, they're doing nicely. They're playing very well. Well, these little modders are playing some heads up ball. They certainly are. What about the little guy wearing number four? You know who he is? Oh, <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's Rob Rabbit, Kid's Dynamite. Oh, do you really think so? Oh, come on, the kid's all over the field. I mean, look at him. He's hotter than a pistol. He's my son. Your son? Well, you ought to be very proud, Pappy. Very proud because the kid's got all the moves. Speed, grace, and the driving will to win. Win at any cost. No, no, that's wrong. Oh, sure, Rob likes to win, but only when he, and of course his teammates too, only when they've really earned the win. You don't say. Now, he's a good boy. He'd never cheat or steal or fudge to win at anything. He's got a terrific sense of sportsmanship. That's not quite it, dear. Now, Rob, listen very closely to me. La 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 da 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 da. I uh, I guess I thought that was what I was playing, Mom. Exactly right. You were, dear. You were. But it's not enough just to hit the right notes. No. No. You have to feel the music. You have to put your heart into it, don't you see, dear? Once it comes out of the instrument, it's something shared. It's something that touches everyone around you. Hello. Good day. Uh, how do? How are you? Oh, isn't that just lovely? I beg your pardon? I say, isn't that lovely? The music. Music? The piano music. The music that's filling the air. Isn't it lovely? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> music makes the heart take flight. No, no, I mean that music. Isn't it just too beautiful? 
Ah, yes. It's splendid. It's just splendid. I wonder, could that be Felix Mendelssohn? Oh, my, no. Oh, that's Robert Rabbit. Ah, Robert Rabbit. Oh, yes. I know the family. Little Rob is really terribly gifted. I'm glad we decided to go on this little outing. Mm, I am too. I mean, before too long, Rob will be on his own, and family picnics like this won't be so easy to put together. Mm -hmm. I wonder what he'll do with himself. Old Rob, he'll be great. Oh, don't worry about old Rob. He'll do fine at anything he puts his mind to, believe me. Just think of it. Someday he could be a doctor. Or a professional rugby player. Mm -hmm. He could be a judge if he wanted to be. Or have his own rock and roll band. <laughs> you are, sir. You saved our lives. Yes, and we're very, very grateful. Hey, what's going on, anyway? Uh, perhaps I can throw a little light on that. Is someone here? Who's there? That was a nice piece of work with the boulder, Rob. Terrific catch here. Yeah. Thank you, uh, sir. Kids got great hands. Ah, shall we? Carrot pate? Hmm. Outstanding, madam. Outstanding. You folks may not be aware of this, but for as long as time itself, our quiet little village has carried the heavy responsibility of providing a very special hero. A, a hero? Yes. A hero who works tirelessly to make the outside world a better, happier place. Hey, wait a minute. The legacy. You're talking about the legacy. That's right. The legacy. Well, what's a legacy? It's something handed down from one generation to another, dear. Our legacy is one of strength and goodness and justice. It's a gigantic responsibility. The person who carries it must run faster, fly higher, and work harder in the interest of good than any force anywhere. Now, in our time, it's Rob who'll carry our legacy on. You see, even though no one else will ever know it, Rob is the American Rabbit. <gasps> Please don't misunderstand. We appreciate the honor and all of that, but isn't little Robbie there just a touch young for this line of work? No, 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 not a bit of it. You need a young fella. He's fast and he's strong. Besides, he'll be working all sorts of crazy hours. Believe me, an older guy could never cut it. It all goes by so quickly. Sure does. You know, it seems like just the other day, Rob, you were out fooling around with your little school pals. <laughs> that, that was just the other day, Dad. Well, there you are. Think of us once in a while, Rob, dear. Oh, don't worry, Mom. I'll think of you every time I hear pretty music <laughs> or a bird sing. Rob, I don't know what a father's supposed to say to a son who has to do what you've been chosen to do, except that be the very best you possibly can. We're proud of you, son. And we love you. <laughs> We love you. Come on, kid. There's a world out there that needs saving. And it's just waiting for you.
Rob. American rabbit. American rabbit. Meat? Uh, well, I'm, uh, uh, you know, I was just noticing your, uh, your helmet. Oh, that's a very handsome helmet. <laughs> hey, guys, Fuzzy here thinks this is a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're wrong, Fuzzy. This ain't no helmet. It's a kettle. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, I, I can see that now. Sure, it's a kettle. It's a terrific kettle. You got any idea what gets cooked in a kettle like this here? Uh, soup? <laughs> soup? Why, well, you pathetic little pipsqueak. You make soup in a soup pan. In a kettle like this here, you make rabbit stew. <laughs> you know something? You and I gotta have dinner together. Dinner? Mm. Let's do it real soon. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir, I couldn't help noticing the sign in your uh... Excuse me, sir? I couldn't help noticing the sign you have in the window that mentions that you might require the services of a trained pianist. Yeah, kid, so what do you want? Oh, well, uh, the job. Yeah, I wanted to see if I could apply for the job. Teddy, I got a kid here who says he plays a little piano. Why, that's marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Hi, I'm Theodore Panda. Everyone calls me Teddy. Oh, pleased to meet you, sir. I I'm Robert Rabbit. Uh, why don't you just sit right down there at the piano, Robert, my friend? I'll call Bunny. She's our booker, and we'll all listen to how you play. Oh, Bunny! Oh, Bunny O'Hare! Hi, I'm Bunny. Uh, hi. Uh, how do you do? Very, very well. Well, uh, now that we all know each other, why don't you cook us up a little something on the piano there, Robert? Oh, you can call me Rob. Oh, of course. Why, yes, indeed. Rob, you play very nicely. Uh, thank you. Yes. Well, well, please try to understand what I mean when I say that I... Yes? That this is pandemonium, not Carnegie Hall. 
I'm, I'm afraid I don't follow. This is a rock joint, kid. A rock joint? Uh, yes, you know. Bump, 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 ba dump. Uh, that would be the bass line. <laughs> yes, yes, very much so. And the melody line is something like. Ba da da do meta. You was a pianoist. Well, it isn't that I didn't want to. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, gentlemen. If you wish to hear our brand new piano man, Rob, here, I'm afraid you'll have to wait till showtime. And that's still several hours away. But that's exactly why we popped in, Wimpo. Yeah, Wimpo. Yeah, we was very worried about the safety of, uh... What's the name of this dump? The Pandemonium. Right. We was very worried about the safety of the Pandemonium. We think it needs just an awful lot more accident insurance. <laughs> you never know when an accident's gonna break out. Thanks so much for your concern. I'll make it a point to go over all this very carefully with my insurance broker. Uh, look, you don't get the picture, wimps. You see, from now on, you gotta think of us as your insurance breaker. <laughs> And this is your lucky week, pal. We got a special for you. 500 bucks keeps the joint from getting trashed. Yeah, busted wide open. I think you, uh, gentlemen, better go. But you ain't even bought your insurance policy yet. Now. <sighs> now, now, boys. If Wims here wants us to go, then we just gotta go. Besides, <sighs> I think it's dangerous hanging around a place like <sighs> this. You never know when something awful's gonna happen. <laughs> you wanna know something, Robert? Oh, yes. What? You play a whole lot of piano. my particular honor to introduce you to the big soaring sound of the very driving, the very dynamic, the White Brothers Band. such an intellectual little oinker, I figured maybe you could direct me to the public library. Oh, yes, yes. It, it's straight that way, about a block. And then you turn left on McCarthy. You can't miss it. Far up. You up there, are you the one who's in charge of this 
this? Yeah, baby, you could say that. Well, if you'd be civil enough to stop for a minute. White Brothers was a great band. Well, thanks. You play great piano, man. And you seem like such a nice guy. If I were you, I'd get into a safer line of work. But wait, what do you mean? I mean, if you want to stay healthy, don't mess with the jackals. Maybe they're right. Maybe we ought to call the whole thing off. No, Teddy, you're wrong. If we give in to them now, they'll just keep on doing the same thing to our neighbors. And finally, to everybody. Before long, they'll rule the whole city. But what are we supposed to do? Hey, I've got it. Let's have a march and rally. Really make a show of it. Let them know how we feel. Oh, come on, they know how we feel. We're scared. But that's just it. If we all join together, they'll see that we're not just a bunch of wimpy scaredy cats. Yeah, that's a great idea. I'd really like to help if you'll let me. I'll make signs, I'll put them up, I'll contact people on the street, anything. You just tell me what you want, okay, Bunny? That's quite a piano player we got ourselves there. Don't you see, Bunny? It's just that we don't want any trouble. None of us wants any trouble, Esther. Yeah, but we're just small fries. Who'd ever want to bother with us? That's exactly the way Teddy felt. If we go on the march, we could be in trouble. If we don't... like you who give evil a bad name. Listen closely to me, you imbeciles. You will all ride your cycles in the march. Uh, excuse me, Walt, but I got a feeling old Rodney didn't make clear the reason for the march. See, what it is, it's against us. That's what it is. I know that, you idiot! Will you listen? You will all ride in the march at the rear. For your own health and safety, stay at the rear of the march. For getting everybody's attention, uh, would it be better if we were at the front? The rear! The rear, you twit! Valtor is going to make an example of those who dare to resist us. <laughs> an example that won't be soon forgotten. <laughs> You ought to tell your boss. A nice thing is happening back at the end of the line. Oh yeah, what? A bunch of those jackals have formed a kind of procession and they're riding in our parade. That's nice. Well, it just goes to show no matter what we may think, at least not all jackals are as naughty as those meanies who broke up Teddy's you Nino know, nightclub. Hey Ping, I got bad news for you. Huh. They're the same guys. Hey, that's not nice. That's mean. What they're doing is mean. Take a look back there at the end of the parade, Robert. 
Does it look to you as though those jackals are being mean to any of our marchers? Maybe those guys are being mean. You know, I think I'll just, you know, wander back there and see what's happening. Yeah. Rob, boy, you missed all the excitement. Oh, you mean when the bridge wobbled a little? Wobbled? Uh-huh. You see, Theo Ping and I were a little worried about the Jackal motorcycles. That's right, Teddy. Yeah, so I went back to the end of the parade to see what they were up to. But all of a sudden, they just cranked up and left. That's when everybody cheered. Everyone cheered when this incredible hero saved the bridge from falling right into the bay. Really? I don't know who, but someone called him the American Rabbit. Gosh, <laughs> and I thought I was where all the real excitement was. Yeah. It isn't that we're any braver than any of the rest of you, or any less afraid of the jackal bikers. We're not, and we know it. But what we also know is that if any of us any of us gives in to their threats or their bullying, then we're all lost. We have to have the courage to stick together. I think we have the courage. Please. Thank you. You all know me, and you all know that I try to be a fair Joe. I don't want any trouble. But this jackal thing, this is no neighborhood squabble. These are bad guys, and they really are trying to take over our town and our lives and everything. And, and we can't let that happen. You know my place, the pandemonium? Well, it's a total loss. They creamed it. And I got to admit that at first I thought I'd just pull out. But I'm not going to do that. That's exactly what the jackals want. And, and I'm not going to make it that easy for them. We're going to rebuild the pandemonium. Hey! I'm all for you, Teddy. And no offense intended, but where are you going to get the money to rebuild that club of yours? Well, I'll just have to put it on my charge card. No, I'll tell you where we'll get the money. We're going to do a concert tour of the country. We'll play everywhere. Bunny's already booked us into some major spots like the Grand Canyon, New Orleans. We're going on the road with... The White Brothers! Oh, it just doesn't pay. Treat people as you treat your own mother, and they still walk all over you. That red, white, and blue rabbit is going to wish his Aunt Agnes never let him out of the hut. Just say the word, Vol. Yeah, we'll scare the socks off him. We're not going to scare him. We're going to destroy him. Great idea, boss. A real breakthrough. Uh, just one thing. How are we going to do it? If you had to deal with some bothersome little rabbit who flies in out of nowhere, upsets all your plans, and on top of that, turns out to be strong enough to hold up a whole bridge, what would you do? Sick Mad Marvin and Horrible Hugo on him? Mad Marvin and Horrible Hugo. Oh, you worry me, Rodney. Mad Marvin and Brutal Bruno? No. You get the biggest, the strongest, the most powerful Hulk there is anywhere, and then you get him to do the job for you. Hey, that's Ping Pong. The guy you just described is Ping Pong. Oh, that's very good, Marvin. 
That's very good thinking. Uh, yeah, but uh, there's a problem there, boss. Problem? Mm -hmm. See, Ping Pong's not exactly one of our guys. He's actually more like one of their guys. I mean, the truth is, he's one of their guys. So? So, it might be a little hard to ask him to knock this same rabbit off. You're an idiot, Marvin. We're not going to ask him to wipe the rabbit out. We are going to make him do it. Hey, that's brilliant, Walt. Brilliant. How are we going to do it? <laughs> you mean, how are you going to do it? Ah, uh, Ping Pong! Telegram from Mr. Ping Pong! Oh, well, I'm Mr. Ping Pong. Of course, everyone calls me Ping or Pong. You see, I got this here extremely urgent, highly important telegram for you. I've been looking for you all afternoon. A telegram? For me? Yeah. Let me read it to you. Dear Ping, uh -huh. stop. Party for the White Brothers Band change. <gasps> stop. Follow the messenger reading this to you to the new location. Stop. Signed, Teddy, Bunny, Rob. Stop. Gee, Mani, wonder why they decided to move the going away party. Well, I don't know, Mac. I'm just a messenger. It just seems strange. I mean, we were all going to meet at the pandemonium, or at least what's left of it. Wasn't that just a scandal? What those brutes did to that cozy little spot. Yeah. Let's go. Here comes Rotten Rodney right now. Yeah, and the grill is right behind you. Excuse me, but are you certain this is the right place for the send-off party for the White Brothers Band? Well, sure thing, Ping. Sure as the sun shines. It's all right here in the telegram, see? Ah, ah, ah! Got a sign for it first. That's what is from the telegram headquarters. And you guys got a pen? All righty, here we are. Hey! Nighty night, Pingy! Come on, Sidney, let's hit it! We've got places to go, and many, many things to do. Come on, Rob Boy. You know we have a long drive ahead of us. Yeah, I know, Teddy. I just hate to leave without finding out about Ping. Hey, don't sweat it, Rob. I mean, maybe he just got tied up. No, Rob's right. Ping told us he was definitely coming to our going away party. It just doesn't make any sense. But that nice little dachshund did say he saw Ping go into this train yard with some weird-looking messenger. And this is Ping's cone. Yes, and that's a hypodermic needle, but so what? So what? Something's wrong. The needle, the, that jackal motorcycle? Now, Rob Boy, let's not get carried away. Hey, listen, where does this track go? To the next town. And after that? Well, you know, the, the next town after that. Well, then what? Rob, what are you up to? It just keeps on going, all the way to the Grand Canyon. Which is where we should be heading right now, if we're ever going to make our concert date at the Trap Door. We're playing at a place called the Trap Door? Mm-hmm. The Grand Canyon's hippest new club. The Grand Canyon's hippest new club, huh? Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's go to the Trap Door. This is the right canyon? Well, sure. I mean, how many Grand Canyons can there be? It's just that I don't see any sign of the trap door. Well, yeah, but, uh, but this is a pretty big place. 
You know, I got a feeling we'd have better luck if we rafted down the river. Come on, everybody pile in. I'll launch you and, I mean, us. I'll launch us. I'll help. No, no, you get in. I'll do it. I know how. My dad used to be in the Navy. Well, I thought you said your, your dad was a doctor. Well, yeah, yeah, he is. He's a, he's a Navy doctor. How come you're not coming with us? Hey, what's the matter? It's Where okay. Hey, hey. I'll go overland and meet you downstream where you may camp. See you in an hour or so. Ah, good evening, sir, and welcome to the trap door. Boy, uh, am I glad to see you. We've been looking all over for this place. Do you have a reservation? Uh, no, no. See, you don't understand. I'm part of the White Brothers Band. We've been booked to play here. In that case, step right in. Hey, folks, I just don't know why you're doing this. I don't know what you want from me, but I want you to know that I can't swim, and I really don't like it in here. <laughs> you see, it's really quite simple, my banana-eating friend. We like you. That's all there is to it. And we want you to join our organization. Say that you will, and all this silly little mischief will stop. Don't think I don't appreciate your asking, but the truth is, I'm not really much of a joiner. Let me make it easy for you, Gorilla. Join us. Agree to help us destroy the American rabbit. Just say the word, and we'll take you out of your little tub right now. Refuse. <laughs> Refuse. And we'll use you for whale bait, you big monkey. I want to get out of here. I really do. But the American Rabbit is a good person, and he's a nice guy. I can't lie to you. I never do anything to hurt him. Ew, what a jerk. Wash this ape out of my life. <laughs> He's one of the guys in the White Brothers band. Now ain't that sweet? What do you play, Pipsqueak? The piccolo? Uh, no, uh, I'm the tap dancer, actually. I tap dance. Hey, there's no tap dancer in the White Brothers band. Well, hey, if you don't believe me, I guess there's really not very much I can do about it. Oh, yeah, well, if you're this big tap dancer, then let's see you do a few steps. Hey, are you crazy? We could get in real trouble for this. We're supposed to take him to Rodney. Relax. It'll be hamburger in 20 minutes anyway. Come on, kid. Let's see you tap. Not too bad. Hey, he's also not here.
This is really awfully good of you. I can't begin to express how... You'd never even believe what he did for me. I mean, I was a goner. I was really... You must be exhausted. Why don't you come over here by the fire and rest for a few moments and get warm? Uh, warm, huh? Uh, no, no, I, I've got to save the White Brothers. They're one heck of a band. And uh, by the way, ma'am, uh, there is no fire. But maybe you could get one going. <laughs> sure glad you had that fire going. I've been looking for you guys for hours. Rob Boy, you, you missed all the excitement. If it wasn't for the American rabbit, I think we'd all be up the creek. You mean down the river. Or in my case, under the river. Huh? What are you guys talking about? Maybe the smartest thing to do is call the whole thing off and head for home. But why? Come on, Rob. This tour has been a disaster from the word go. Oh, that's really not true, but... Yeah, why would you want to say a thing like that, hon? Granted, that job you got us at the trap door didn't pan out, but we're still all together and healthy. That's right. And don't forget, we've got a definite job waiting for us in New Orleans. That's right, Rob. Things can only get better from now on. Let's go to New Orleans. Understand this. The club owner told me it was the biggest spot on the block. He said we couldn't miss it. Well, buddy, what exactly are we looking for? A club, a joint, a place that has a big sign that reads, The Hog and Frog. It jumps. It's not here. Uh, sir? Sir? Uh, excuse me, sir. I don't believe it. It was here, and now it ain't here. It's just gone. Can you direct us to the hog and frog? That's all it is, folks. It was the hottest spot in town. Oh, no. We're ruined. We're just ruined. That's great. <laughs> My club binds to the ground, and you're ruined. Well, you see, uh, sir, we're the White Brothers band, and we were supposed to... The White Brothers? Mm -hmm. Snappy, flappy, nappy, pappy, and happy? Uh, no, flip, pip, nip, dip, and skip. Yeah, whatever. Hey, I hate to break it to you, friends, but I'm afraid you're a little late for work. As a matter of fact, your job with the hog and frog just went up in smoke. Wait a minute. You mean to say that this just happened? Well, very late last night. Last night? We just closed the club after our last act. The kid who works for me was putting your name up on a marquee. I was going over some paperwork upstairs in the office when one of those midnight messengers pops in with this really weird message that I'm supposed to get across town really fast. Oh boy, you gotta watch out for messengers with weird messages. Sir, was the, uh, uh, the messenger, uh, by any chance was he a jackal? Hey, hey, I'll tell you something, kid. That stuff don't mean a thing to me. I mean, what the heck, you may not realize it, but look at me. I'm a pig. Shucks, Bucks, that's what I am. No, 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 no. see, I, I didn't mean to suggest anything at all about the messenger or... Since you mentioned it, yeah, the messenger was a jackal. I'm uh, sorry about your nightclub, sir. Thanks, kid. We're all sorry. What do you figure you'll do with yourself now? I'm thinking about becoming an airline pilot. Well, how exciting. Do you fly? You think they'll expect that? I would if I were an airline. I would, too. Well, then, heck with it. I can always go to law school. Stop! Stop! Hey, band wanted. Hey, yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Hi ho everyone, how in the world may I help you? Um, we'd like to inquire about the band job that's being advertised in the window. Hey, well lucky, lucky you! A lot of really swinging bands have been fighting for the gig, but you guys just grooved right in and shot them all out of the saddle! Uh, gee, sir, there must be some mistake. We haven't even auditioned yet. Hey, don't sweat the small stuff, kid. I got good vibes about your group. You got the job! Oh, well, we couldn't possibly take an engagement without auditioning. We'll get the job, 
We're a good, tight band, but uh, we want to get it fair and square. Okay, your clowns want to audition, audition. But let's hit it. We got a schedule to keep. Okay, guys, do for nothing and go. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Love, love it. You guys are far too much. But uh, we didn't even really start playing yet. Kid, I've been in this business a lot of years. A band's downbeat is its bond. You got the job. Can you dig it? Be a Doc B at sunset. <laughs> Now, this is a little more like it. Oh, yeah. If we gotta ride up and down on these rivers, we might as well go in style. Guys, I think our luck is really starting to change. Let's get out of here. Somehow I get the feeling that these jackals, even with their big smiles and all the rest of it, are just as rotten as those other jackals. Well, I still think we should judge people by what they do, not what they look like. Maybe we can make things better. Why don't you guys play another number? Juicy wash down, fore and aft. I want those decks soaked in gasoline. Hey, boss, we really gonna torch this tub? You'd better believe it, you bubble brain. <laughs> yes, let this be a message to anyone who will ever again try to oppose us. If you're dumb enough to stand up against almighty Voltor, then you'd better be ready for a few blisters. All Walt's really getting into it. Those are the same insignificant pipsqueaks who dared to mount the protest march against us on the bridge in San Francisco. Yeah, the turkeys. In a sense, I suppose you could say their goose is cooked. <laughs> Enough of this banter. Everyone into the launch. <laughs> Torch it! Ping, ordinarily I'd never suggest anything like this, but uh, I think we'd better rip these doors off their hinges.
that lovely? Silence! Silence, you nefarious nincompoops! I am about to make an historic declaration. That was the most marvelous thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Boy, oh boy, I'm really glad you got us out of there, American Rabbit. Well, good thing I was so nearby when the fire broke out. It sure was, American Rabbit. But I think that you should know, that fire didn't break out. It was started, deliberately, by those terrible jackals. I know how Rob feels about making generalizations that... Rob! Rob! Rob. 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 Yes, where is Rob? Yeah, Rob. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, uh, well now, uh, hey, I wouldn't worry too much about old Rob. No, no, not, not old Rob. You can't be serious. You must be kidding. Now, uh, now, wait a minute, guys. I mean, will you just, uh, wait? I happen to know a little something about rabbits, and, uh, old Rob there is a swimmer, if I ever saw one. I mean, uh, that boy is a swimming fool. He's, he's, he's got that look. Uh, he'll be all right. Don't you worry. Tell you what, ma'am, uh, I want to find out a little more about this mysterious fire. I'll do a quick look around for Rob while I'm at it, but please, trust me. I'm sure the kid's okay. I've seen it all, and I've done it all. And from now on, the game gets played by our rules, and we get to bend them every which way we want. We're going to New York. New York? New York? That toddle and pal? That Chicago, you, you num num. New York is our town. I figure if we can make it there, we can make it anywhere. Sounds well, sensational, Walt. But uh, what are we going to do there? We're going to be bad. <laughs> We're going to make life miserable for everybody we can. We're going to torment people and terrorize them. We're going to lie and cheat and steal and force everyone to live under our control. We're going to rule New York with an iron will. Gee, that sounds great, Walt. Only way to go. And I'm with you all the way. I want you to know that. But uh, I was just wondering, and this is purely informational, big guy. Why are we doing this, huh? Because we're evil, you idiots. We are bad. That's our job. And as long as I'm in charge, the game gets played by our rules. <laughs> Rob is lost. Rob. Hey, it's Rob. Rob. Rob, thank goodness you're all right. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, nothing like a nice swim in the moonlight in burning water. We were really worried about you, Rob. And I feel sort of bad that we ran off and left you. Yeah, we, we sure are. are. I don't want to say how much we feel so bad that we probably No, no, no. I came out right behind you guys. Really. I was right on the American rabbit's tail. Uh, no disrespect intended. Oh, Rob. I was going great, too. Well, that is until I realized I couldn't fly like he can. That's when I fell into the river. Hey, that was some accident, huh? That was no accident, Rob. Those jackals wanted to kill us. You know, I got a funny feeling you guys might just be right about that. Well, you know what I think? I think our job is to get as far from here as we can, as fast as we can. But where can we go? Every move we make, they're always one step ahead of us. Well, we could go to, uh... New York. New York? Yeah, they'd never find us there. It's far away. It's big. I bet we could get all kinds of band work. Work so we could earn enough to rebuild the pandemonium. Hey, New York sounds great. But is it right for us to just walk away and leave the whole responsibility of working against evil to the American rabbit? Nobody said we were going to walk away. We're going to run. J just think of it. We could play in some very smart New York supper club. Hey, come on. We have an obligation to oppose evil. And we still will. In New York. New York. New York. It could be fun. Hey, I love New York. But we don't have any instruments. Don't worry about that. I know people in New York. Big corporation people who'll help us. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go to New York. <laughs> Now, you 
watch out for that big city, you youngsters. You can never tell what those downtown rascals got planned for you. New York, guys? Right. Yes. Well, if you fellas don't mind riding along with a load of chocolate, then <laughs> pile in. So how's my guy? Ah, uh, fine, Ed. Fine as wine. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Well, you know, lose a quarter, make three nickels and a dime. So what in the world can we do for you? Uh, well, uh, as a matter of actual I don't fact... Mean to be pushy. No, hey, listen, if it were up to us, we'd love to sit and shoot the breeze with you fellas all day, but... but time is money, and hey, let's not kid ourselves. It's a jungle out there, guys. Hey, we're fighting for our lives here. Oh, uh, well, listen, if this isn't a good time, I well, mean... Well, you see, what actually happened is that we had a kind of mishap. Equipment-wise, that is. Oh, hey, that's a rough one. That really tears it when something like that happens. So we were wondering if we could borrow... Borrow? Rent. Rent some musical instruments for the White Brothers, you know, from your corporation. Uh, that would be the instrument division. Yeah, I think we ought to be able to put something together. After all, we're all friends here. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. That's terrific. Okay. Of course, uh, we will have to charge some minor fees for instruments. Of course. There is the first and last month's rent, but that's standard throughout the industry. Uh, and, of course, there's the appreciation cottage instrument insurance and the York City rock and roll tax. Uh, I gotta tell you the truth, guys. So we're gonna lose a bundle on this one. Yeah, but we like you guys, so hey, come back just as soon as you got the loot and... Uh, uh, sure, sure, we'll, we'll do that. Bring a check. We'll see you around. Very good. Talk to you guys later on. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Gentlemen, babies, hey, how we doing? We're the celebration committee from Voltor Enterprises. Uh, we spoke on the phone. And a terrific conversation it was to really good interchange of ideas. Ooh, we're so delighted that you're receptive to our plan. Hey, if we're not receptive, who are we? Can we get to it? Oh, please. We want to rent the Statue of Liberty. The st Statue of Liberty? Uh, one day only. But gentlemen, Oh, yes, so all the little orphans can experience the joy of visiting the great lady. But don't you see, we can't just rent a monument. We'll pay cash. It's not the money. You can have the popcorn concession. I think we got a deal. Hey, hey, I don't say that. Go for that one. Okay. Nice doing business with you. See you in Sunday school. Walt, I just want to tell you that I think this idea of yours to rent the Statue of Liberty is a genius idea. I mean, I used to be an orphan myself, so I know what I'm saying. You're an imbecile, Rotten. We are not renting the statue for orphans. We're just going to use that sad little story to get everyone to come out and support our good work at the statue. Then, when we got them where we want them, we make our move. You get it? Dad, why are they doing this to us? I really don't know. Nothing like this has ever happened to me before. But I do know this. These are mean guys, and I'm pretty sure they're evil. Oh, gosh, do you figure they want our chocolate all for themselves? No, Junior. I, I think they want to use our chocolate as a kind of delicious blackmail so they can get people to do exactly what they want. Oh, that's terrible. Chocolate's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be a pleasure. Well, no matter what, 
We can't let them. Pretty smart moose, huh, Walt? You tell that moose that all he has to do is make chocolate. Lots and lots of chocolate for us. I got a feeling he doesn't want to do that. That's bad for you. Why me? Because if he doesn't start making chocolate, and I mean lots and lots of chocolate, fast, I'm going to pull your ears off. Uh, don't give it a second thought, boss. Uh, that moose and the kid will be banging out bonbons in no time. Excellent. What's so important about this chocolate anyway? Ooh, that's such a good question, Rodney. But tell me, do you like chocolate? Well, yeah, sure. I like an occasional munch. You and everyone else, the whole world craves chocolate. And he who controls chocolate controls everything. You're too much, boss. You really are. The road to power is paved with chocolate. <laughs> Those who join us at the Statue of Liberty may even get a sliver of the moose's chocolate. But those who don't, <laughs> they won't. I get it. We'll kind of be encouraging volunteers. You're catching on, Rotten. You're catching on. Today, chocolate. Tomorrow, the world. We'll never get into the statue if you don't hurry. Yeah, uh, well, gee, you know, it's just that it's such a nice day. Hey, Bunny, why don't we just stay out here for a while? We can go inside later. Oh, that's silly. It'll be even more crowded then. in your wise and unselfish decision. As for you others, if for some mad, impossible to understand reason, you dare oppose me, I will blow every last one of you up. Oh, I have the will, and I have the power. If it isn't the heroic hair of San Francisco Bay. I had a feeling you might pop up again, you dismal disease. Uh, please, uh, whoever you are, don't do anything crazy with those explosives. Crazy? <laughs> I, I never do anything crazy, you pathetic pain. And as far as who I am, let me tell you once and forevermore that I am the power, I am the force. I am the supreme energy that does most certainly rule hither, thither, and thereabouts. Ah, ah, ah! I would hate to blow that dear old lady and all of her visitors right out of this world. I doubt if you could ever put her back together again with your boring cable tying trick. Uh, please, just tell me what you want, and if I can, I'll do it. You'd better believe you'll do it. And I'll tell you exactly what I want right now. You're going to take one of those fancy flights of yours around Lady Liberty there. And you're going to make a little announcement exactly the way I tell you to, or else. The spirit of Baltor lives. The jackals, under the loving guidance of their respected leader, are now in total charge. Their orders are... are law. 
the law of the doomsday switch. Gosh, the doomsday switch. Follow them well, and you will have nice, orderly lives. Resist, and you will suffer the supreme penalty. Those who cooperate may even be rewarded with, with may even be rewarded with a sliver or two of of chocolate. What are you doing out at a time like this? Just nosing around. Bright boy here's just nosing around. Let's see your identity card, dog features. He's a mongrel. All right, get out of here. Bow wow. Do, do I get a sliver of chocolate? I'll give you a sliver. <laughs> Lucky the leader ain't here. Yeah, he's been a little cranky lately. Cranky? Boy, he's gotten so buggy that the first word out of that mutt's mouth might have made him throw that doomsday switch of his. Time for your voluntary contribution to the Security and Obedience Fund. Obedience? Don't make me laugh. And as for the security, what security? We ain't got no security. Who protects us from bums like you? That ain't my problem, Mama. I'm not a protector. I'm a collector. Oh, well, when you and the rest of your clowns start protecting, then you can start collecting. Until then, take a walk, Jack. Hey, come on. No offense intended. I mean, what are we? Animals? Yeah, of course. We want to see the chocolate mousse. Forget it, <sighs> bug eyes. Hey, we want to see him now. <laughs> That's one dream that just ain't coming true, goofball. Tell you what, Jack, you make it happen, or we will. Hey, well, all you gotta do is ask. We wouldn't give them any chocolate. Not a lick. Well, we know you didn't. They threatened to let us just melt away. But Dad told them what they could do. It's all right now. You're safe. Yeah, we won't let that dirty buzzard hurt you now. You don't collect the bills. You don't enforce my laws. You fail to punish those who openly resist us. You're through. You're finished, too. I've washed my hands of you. No, I know what's going on. Oh, yes, I do. Don't think I don't. I know what they're all saying. The American rabbit will save us. The American rabbit will save us. He's our hero. Well, big deal. If he's such a big hero, where is he now, eh? Where is that big hero? Let him show himself. Oh, boss. What do you mean, oh, boss? Well, there's a little more to it than just his showing himself. You see, this here guy is liked, Walt. Uh, what he is, is he's very well liked. So? So, in more or less the same vein, let us just say that people don't exactly feel that way about you. Me? Us. I, us. Uh, they don't feel that way about us. <laughs> you traitor! You turncoat! You jackal! So you've joined them. You join them too, eh? You slime. Well, go ahead, join them. I'll show you. I'll show all of you. I'm going to kill that cute little rabbit. Because I have the will, and I have the doomsday switch.
I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> Just because you didn't want to ride my old cab here? You know what I mean. You said run faster, fly higher, work harder in the interest of good. That's exactly what I said. I was to carry the legacy. I failed. You're wrong. Way wrong. You didn't fail. I'll grant you that, that you didn't defeat the buzzard, but you did save lives. I ran away. Well, did you have any other choices? No. I ran out on my friends. You gotta understand something, Rob. If things aren't always so nice and neat in life. Oh, sure, maybe the buzzard did win that one cruel power play, but that doesn't mean the American rabbit has lost. <laughs> the American rabbit. My friends were all depending on me. I, I let them down. And now with this doomsday switch, he can destroy everyone. <laughs> I failed. Oh, you did, huh? Well, not at the bridge, and not at the riverboat. You don't get to win them all, Rob. Besides, seems to me like maybe it's time the American Rabbit makes a power play of his own. Well, what, what do you mean? That's your problem, Sonny. You're the American Rabbit. Me, I'm just another cab driver trying to make ends meet. Oh, here's your stop. Oh, uh, thank you. I'm always glad to give a friend a lift. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. play of his own. That's it! I'm gonna close down that buzzard once and for all. And I'm gonna start by cutting off his power. All of his power. I'll stop the water that runs the turbine that creates the power that gives electricity to the whole city. Put that buzzard out of business. American Rabbit really blocked out the whole city with this act. Yeah, the buzzard sure got a short circuit. Statue of Liberty, you pathetic clown! Do you really imagine you can resist the power of Voltor? Don't listen to him, American Rabbit. No one's life is worth anything as long as he's in control. Junior and I know. He's bad, American Rabbit. Don't let others suffer the way he made us suffer. Do it, Rabbit. Do it. Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't be a fool, Rabbit. Do you think they'll ever appreciate what you've done for them? <laughs> no, of course not. Do you think they'll ever pay you the respect and homage a superior being deserves? <laughs> No again, but look here, look at us, together. Oh, we're a perfect team, you know we are. Why together? We could rule the world, we'd be rich and powerful. Think of it, just think of it. Who could stop us? Almost anyone, you evil bird. I just want to say, I think you're two top drawer guys. Wait, has anyone seen the American rabbit? There he is, up there, in the distance. You can just barely make him out, over there. Oh, yeah. I, I could just barely make him out. Hey, what a guy. Wow, looks like he's doing a barrel roll. Quite a guy. And I think you are too. <laughs> Gee. Thanks, buddy. Wow! Look at that! He is doing a barrel roll! <laughs> <laughs> 